So we are reading verse 85. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cannot forget Radhika's beauty. Wow. The opulence yeah. of her newly entering youth. The movement of her eyes. Her very amazing, delicious, childlike breasts. Wow. The sweetness of her bimba cherry like lips. Her smile, her words, and her playful gait. Wow. I cannot forget Radhika's beauty, the opulence of her newly entering youth, the movements of her eyes, her very amazing, delicious, childlike breasts. The sweetness of her bimba cherry like lips. Wow. Her smile. Her words. And her playful gait. She Radha's unforgettable sweetness. Yeah. Commentary. Sripad, in his kinkari form, is engaged in Srimati's service in Yavata. Wow. When Shyama suddenly plays his enchanting flute in a nearby mm. forest. Mm -hmm. Although everyone is attracted to Krishna's soft flute playing, Shiradharani is mostly attracted. Like a snake that is enchanted by the mantras of a hunter. Wow. Srimati rushes out of the house, flying up like a bumblebee mm. after catching the delicious fragrant fragrance of Shama Sundar. The maidservant who follows her like her shadow, pacifies her with sweet topics of Krishna. Yeah. Maybe we can stop slowly. <laughs> I'll just give hint, so maybe, and then Gurudev can just continue to shower us because in you are way, very well. I want to listen all of you, everyone to go deep to realize it. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. Mm. So we can see from these words so many beautiful qualities of Shimateradharani. 
And all these beautiful qualities are actually her most beautiful alankaras, ornaments. And just from these words, we can get some glimpse why this book, Radha Rasha Sudanidi, is so nectarian because it explains unlimited ocean of Radhika's qualities. And by listening, talking about her qualities, meditating, we devotees, sadhakas, neophytes, are getting the taste for Srimati Radharani. And we are starting to know her personality. And the best way to feel who Radhika is through, the, through her maidservants. Wow. Very nice. And we can see here from Prabhupada Saraswati, he said, I cannot forget Radhika's beauty. I cannot forget. Because 24 7 in my heart, in my mind, in the, all my existence, I'm meditating on her beauty. And this kind of expression is possible only in the heart, in the consciousness of devotee who is on the level of spontaneous loving devotion. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Someone who is stuck in religious principles, who is stuck with rules, regulations, ceremonies, rituals, has a great obstacle, actually, to think on Radhika in such a beautiful, spontaneous way. She, so by listening Shravanam and drinking, like Guru Devi said, drinking with the ears from the mouth of Radhika's eternal maidservants, we can receive some drops of her beauty, of her sweetness, of her sweet smile, of her gait, lips, eyes, and so on, and so on. In that way, we are drowning in the ocean of Radhika's qualities. So, also, these words, and there is a lot of similar verses which are expressing Radhika's qualities. Some of them are in more detailed ways, some more just hints. Here are just the hints. Because these hints will help us to meditate on Radha Mantra. And understand that mantra is not different from our beloved Radhika. Marian. Because in these words is Radha Mantra. <laughs> there is no difference between these words and Radha Mantra. Mm. And when devotee is chanting the first part, second part, Gayatri of Radha Mantra. 
it's very nice that he can support himself with these words of Acharya and completely spontaneous, with full feelings, meditate, guided by them, meditate on Swamini. Yeah. And we can see from the first part, first line of Radhika's mantras, actually the devotee is offering himself. Wow. Swaha. Like a rice. Wow. Devotees are offering rice in the fire. So devotees who are, wants to be Radhika's maidservant, they are also offering themselves in the fire or Guru Dev. Guru Manjar is offering them like a rise in the fire. <laughs> yes. Swaha. <laughs> we offer our hearts and we meditate. Actually, I am yours. In the first part of mantra, my understanding <laughs> is first, I am yours. I am Swaha by my Gurudev. I resist always to offer myself, but he is forcefully offering me. Any one time I have to accept it and surrender. I am yours. I am yours. I am yours. And I'm not interested about anything else. Please take me to your lotus feet. Yeah. <coughs> and the second part of Radha Mantra is actually, you are mine. Because through the Vidmahe, by listening such beautiful words of Acharyas, I know you. I know you. I meditate on you. I always think on you. Because I cannot forget your beauty. I cannot forget your sweetness. I cannot forget your smile, your eyes, sidelong glances. And I'm always, because I know you, by the mercy of Acharyas and my beloved Gurudev, I can meditate with my head. Then, when Sambada is strongly established, I am yours and you are mine, it starts with Mahe. Adimahe, pardon. I want to serve you. I am with you. I am always close to your lotus feet, to your very close, nearby your sari. I am like Gurudev is saying, I am your shadow. And I want to serve you. Of course, in a Manjari Swarup. And because I know you, I am with you, I am serving you, please, Prachodayat, please, I have request, fulfill this, my heart desire. Yeah. So these words is actually helping us so much to be close with Radhika by knowing her, her beautiful qualities and how important she is to her beloved Krishna. And how she is important, Kishoriji just read. He is playing flute to call her. 
this float song is hankering of his heart for my beloved Swami. And she cannot resist. She's running and running and running, completely intoxicated. And Manjaris are following her and trying to pacify her by talking and making her little slow. So this is the effect of Krishna Kata, which helps Radhika to come on the meeting, to go on Abhisar, yes. to run a little bit slower, to doesn't hurt her soft feet. And in the same time, is firing her heart by Krishna Kata. This is the meaning of Krishna Kata, to fire the heart so that we can relish it. <laughs> and especially our Sevya, our beautiful object, person, which we offer our Seva. This is the reason why devotees are glorifying so much Krishna Kata. But like Gurudev is saying, we have to know from which position we are talking and from which position we are listening. So, I said something, Gurudev. Yeah, yeah, it is nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I said something that you say, that you add. <laughs> what? What comes in your heart? <laughs> All you are coming beautifully. Mm. More will come, I will share something. Please, Guru. This part you said beautifully. Mm. Only one thing I remember the Dasis, Manjiris, surrendered herself to Radharani. And Radha also surrendered to her Dasi. She's Radharani, they went to go in so dark night. He said, why are you worried? I will take care of you. That's him saying, come with me. Whole day you are thinking for Krishna. I know he is waiting for you. I will bring them. Radha also surrendered to the Is Dasi is the Kipoti because they are like a shadow of Radha. Shadow. I imagine without original shadow can exist. If the original is not there, shadow will not come. So, and it is not possible, original stand and shadow is not there. So, where Radha is moving, shadow goes with that. Radha's shadow goes with her, and that is Manjari. And then Baba is writing, 
Krishna is totally surrendered to Radha. Because Krishna surrendered to Radha, and he is a creator of whole universe, whole universe surrendered to Radha. Hmm. So one devotee asked me, how the whole universe surrendered to Radha? Take the example of one animal. What is the nature of animal? Animals feel your love or not? Yes. Animals can feel love, but he knows about God. Yeah? Because he is an atheist, no? he don't know God exists or not. But he, he knows about the love. Right? You said the one tree plant your garden. In the flower is used for the Lord. Right? But the flower knows this is going to I am going to use for that. Devotees knows that. Right? But at the same time, the plants also need love. If you care, you water, you fertile, you take out the weeds, then the more flowers are coming. Right? Because you love in this way, and they give more flowers, more greenery comes. So the plants also know the love. If you see the details, all in creation, they feel love. But only human can understand who is the creator. Uh -huh. This is beauty of human life. We pray to take human body to understand this divine love and to serve to the divine couple. But after that, when we come in material body, my false ego makes dance to me. So we are become vegan. <laughs> Only to think for ourselves. <laughs> Devotion goes out. <laughs> we become vegan. <laughs> vegan means Only I do for myself is vegan. And devotion means I do for you is devotion. <laughs> right? <laughs> Vegan means that when my Gurudev wants Philadelphia and I will say, no, I will not give you Philadelphia. Because I'm not eating. <laughs> it's a product. <laughs> I know some places, there no use the milk, but there is an Abhishek of milk. Without Abhishek, you cannot do. Mm. That they do with the juice. Or they do with the... <laughs> Uh, almonds, almond milk, or something, but they never use for Krishna milk. Mm. What you will say is like, what? This is the devotion. Mm -hmm. This is totally my choice. You have to follow my way. Mm. Rather it's not possible. So, my Swami Radhika is only show us one pointedness how to love. She loves to 
lover, darling Krishna, and she teach how to be served to her and watch that. Serve to her on this. And watchful how she is taking care of his lover. Service for only for Radhika is mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who gives to us. There are three bhavas. One is Gopi Bhav, one is Sakhi Bhav, and one is Manjari Bhav. Sakhi Bhav is a Nitya Siddha. Narayan Maharaj writes one book. They are Nitya Siddha, Laita, Vishaka, Chitra, Champagata, Tita, Nitya Siddha. And one gopi are Sadhan Siddhas. After 15, in Rama Avatar, they 15,000 years they do tapa. And they got the perfection. That they want to associate with Ram Chandra. He said, this time not possible. When I will come as a Krishna, we will accept my closest associate. And they all become queen of Krishna in the world. And from that, who is, who is more loving nature, they become gopis in Southern Sittas. Vedas, Rati, Sutis, all they are as associated to this. All Rasiks are telling. And then Manjiris are the special gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. That Gopis and Sakis are fixed to get the Krishna, but Manjaris are fixed in Radha, Lotus Spirit. No interest in Krishna. These are the difference between Manjari and Saki and Gopi. So it depends upon person to person what feelings is prevailing inside. You want Krishna, then you will get Gopi or Saki. Wow. If you want Radharani, then Radha's Krishna you will get. It should be very crystal clear. But Manjari can go even in the Kunja, Nikunja, and one is Nivarta Nikunja. He can get the entry in Nivarta Nikunja. Means where the personal meetings where nobody can go, Manjari can go. Why? Because she is the only thinking for Radha. Not for Krishna. So Radha Rani is not fearful with that. And sometimes she needs in Kama Gayatri, Gopal Mantra. This is all Nibritha Nikunja. Kunja happened, Gopal Mantra, and Nibritha Nikunja happened, Kama Gayatri. Because in Gopal Mantra, all Gopi Sakis are also there. But Kama Gayatri, only Radha and Krishna and the very close associate of Radhika. 
you can see in the Lapuzo Mandili, page 60, this Loka 16. It's very critical period. In this verse 16, it said, first, I am offering obeisances to your idea that I became your friend, friend, girlfriend. And this has to be fixed. If yeah. this jumping, I don't know what I am and I am not fixing this. That is just ping pong. Ball is going to ping and pong. Ping and pong. I, I, one thing I feel, even the Krishna is not important, even Radha is not important, if your feelings are not fixed. Because the importance will come when I'm fixed with you, I fall in relation with you, then you are important for me. I cannot live without you because you are the everything for me. And I'm not fixed. Okay, 50, 50, 10, 6, 40, 60. No, 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 no. I have to do 90% job here and 10% for you, like this. Are 99% if you give and 1% not give, then not working. <laughs> not working. This is here. Yeah. Totally you have to give. Nothing you have to keep for yourself. Totally, yeah. And one more thing I say. This is who is the goal and who is the navigator? If you put the navigator, goal of life, kaput, nowhere in this life. You cannot come out. Navigator cannot be a goal. These are basic things. You, you might say me. Guru cannot be a goal. The East has to be a goal, and Guru will navigate for that goal. You know, Mother Mahanidhi Swami is a, from America, live in Radhakund. He was before his called, now he become Babaji. He say, this is modern, modern philosophy that navigator become good. <laughs> navigator is not good. Jesus say, you are my father. This is his goal, right? And Jesus said that I am a son. But religious persons say, you, you are the goal. You are the goal. And the father and son relation and love is gone. You understand? So when I leave this,
the living entity, I leave the navigator. Navigator is also important. Somebody comes, go to America, and is a new first time, and he has no any friend that he can navigate him. What will happen to that person? Impossible. Similarly, here is the more hidden part, yeah? So this hidden path, navigator, is in Sadhak Deha important, and in Siddha Deha important, even in all the Kunja and all the circumstances is important, because it's more, is a, is a, is a hidden from me. And my goal is fixed. I am your Dasi, you are my boss. <laughs> See that? How beautifully Jit de Khuntit Shammai, what happened to Chaitan Mahaprabhu, where he see Vrindavan, Govardhan. When I will fix my goal, only I will see you, my dear. This is my love for you. Any Rasika who got the perfection because of his madness. And I see this madness brings so rich materially and spiritually. I'm not imagine. So this is the point. Radha Nista is the highest fire. Please read it. The maid servant who follows her like her shadow. 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 Shadow means there is no place shadow cannot go. If she is meeting with his lover, shadow is also there. No privacy for shadow, yeah. You can make hiding to shadow. <laughs> Any private thing you want to do without your shadow? Say <laughs> me. Any Radhika want to hide anything with uh, doing with Krishna and if there is no shadow for that? Even both are in shadow. You can imagine <laughs> how the manjari is radish. <laughs> what she radish? The flower radish, the bee, similar, the birds are radish. But how I can feel it when I will become really shadow of radish. Is not philosophy. You have to practice to be like shadow, then you can relish that. If you only think with the bookie knowledge, philosophy, without practicing, I can do it. Impossible. 
homework we have to do. We have to do it myself. No Doing holidays. Me. Doing this. Doing this, really doing. Doing this, doing. That is sadhana. One is sadhana for Bhadi Vakti, and one is sadhana for Rag Vakti. Rag Vakti sadhana is an inner sadhana. That is Rasika only do inner sadhana. And Radha Bhakti is Rasika's bhakti. It's not everyone possible to do that. Without mercy of Braja, land of Braja, this is the land of Braja, is the place of Raja. And then this is not sadhana, it's actually living. Living. Like a shadow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it? Vajan Kriya. Mind, mind, mind. 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 Makes you to live. Radhe Radhe Jananda Maharaj ki jai. Ajar. Mind make you to live. Like I am in Vrindavan. And my mind goes to outside of Vrindavan. <laughs> Where I'm living. Not living. Mm. Where my mind goes, I am living there. Yeah. My body is in America or Austria, but my mind is in Vrindavan. I'm living in Vrindavan. Like my Kishori, you, your mind always for Vrindavan. Mm. So you, are, you always live in Vrindavan. No, I'm always playing ping pong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or I am playing ping pong. Um, I'll be to do that. No, no. So beautiful. How deep you go. We have to strong ping upon. And the Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada said, and a ping pong is your abnormal position. Condition is your abnormal position, my abnormal position. Condition with my senses, my ping pong nature, marginal. And one thing new I know that my independence, because the nature of the soul comes, because super soul is very independent. The soul also becomes independent. Now, see nature, if you go to the soul consciousness, how you can manage that? In soul consciousness. Prabhupada give one trick. Gita is the last. He say, if you want to be normal, 
go to pleasure giving potential. Take the center of Prada. How you are normal, you will become normal. She will cover with address to you. Avran. She will give one sarup. If you like Gopi Bhav, she will give you that. If you like Saki Bhav, she will give you like that. If you like Manjari Bhav, she will give you like that. What you will choice there, you will get it. Mm -hmm. But see, all she will not give you. She will check really what you need. Gopi and Saki Bhav is very easy to give because this is for Krishna. Huh? You go to Krishna, samsneha, visamsneha. Smana, okay, okay. But adiksneha, she takes many things for giving. And that is Manjali. Oh. She give very check. She sent to Anang Manjari to check. <laughs> because Anang Manjari has two nature. She is Manjari, Anang Manjari, and she is very similar to Radha. Anang Manjari Bhama is she is always in service of Radharani. And we want to please Radhika. At the same time, she has to become, what you say that? Uh, what is the name? That Radhika, similar to Radhika? Ananga. Ananga is to manage to serve Radhika, who has no interest for oh, yeah. Mandiris. But she has to go for Ananga Seva, means Seva, like personal Seva, like a Radhika do. Yes, because instead of Radhika. She is doing instead of Radhika, like a sir. Yeah, so she has a two bhavas. Two bhavas. Yeah. And Krishna doesn't know. She can, He cannot recognize. Yeah. That they exchange the roles. <laughs> <laughs> and she maintained two roles at the same time. So why she sent Radhika to that? Because she knows about two roles very well. Mm. Nobody knows that. So these two roles means who has our spiritual mass. They they do the two roles because they, they cannot deny to Radhika with their shaduna what she wants. They are ready to do so. Our nitta nitai nitai means guru who always in the arm is a universal world. So the, so this is she she check and she when she see still the desire for Krishna is there. Then so I mean she is not fixed still. inside the but Krishna desires are there. Then she said, go and learn more. That's it. I joined as a Saki ago. You can join, easily join. But if you want to join as a mind, 
is not true. Okay. Because you have to take responsibility of Radhika and you have to take care of his lover also. Mm. All the service come to the money. I will say to Gopinath to say, he always say when I say, he said, why you bother? I will do everything for you. He acted very nicely that Gopinath is sitting by chance here. Can you share something? Mm, yes, Radha, Radha. Turn up. So, turn up. Yeah, yeah. Your side turn. I'm Why turning, are you? I'm turning. I'm turning. Okay. Um, but it's the wish of Guru there, so um, I just say, like, uh, um, Actually, it's in Vilap Kusumanjali. I think already a few times Guru said that you are mine, I am yours. It's a big difference, right? Huge difference between these two ways of seeing your relationship to Radharani. <coughs> so, I am yours means again, I want something, you know? But you are mine means actually, I really have surrendered to this path of a manjari, of a dasi. There is this beautiful description in, uh, in the beginning, one of the verses, when uh, Radharani is on her way to Abhisar, and Rupa manjari is in front, mm -hmm. and behind are the other manjaris, and Rati manjari is holding Radharani's hand, and she's a very shy girl, but at the same time, she has many bhavs, many kila kinshi bhavs in her. She's very eager to meet her lover. But at the same time, she's also very hesitant. You know, she's a, a chaste wife. What will people say? She's going in the dark night to meet this young, naughty boy of Raj who steals the innocence of all the girls of Raja. But at the same time, she cannot resist because he's eternal lover of her. But this oscillation between these moods bring her in this position where Anuradha Babaji and others describe that she's hesitating and she doesn't know what to do. She cannot move anymore. She's stuck. And then Rati Manjuri or Guru Manjuri, however we want to see in that moment, right? takes her hand and said, and holds her very gently and says, why are you bothering? Chinta Matkaro, I am with you. Come, go. Your beloved is waiting for you at the entrance of the Kunja. And today even he has decorated the entire Kunja with his own hands. If you don't go there, then how will the Leela be unfolded? And how will we be there to serve if you don't go now. Mm. So don't you worry. We are, I am there with you. I'm there. And this only can happen, no Gurudev, if I have the feeling she's mine. Wow. I have to let go that fear of that I am allowed to do the seva. By Guru De Guru Manjuri's grace, I'm allowed to do it. I'm not a spectator anymore, I'm not observing. I'm not Gopi, I want to be Manjari, and I want to take care, and I want to take that responsibility to tell her, don't you worry, Jinta Matkaro, I'm with you. So this brings Gurudev always, we have this little bit of play here in the temple that when Gurudev is a little worried, then we say, Gurudev, don't you worry, we will do, we're here for you. <laughs> Right. Read more. The maid servant who follows her like her shadow 
pacifies her with sweet topics of Krishna. Just see, just see how many waves of ecstatic rasa are coming up in the ocean of their love when they see each other's moonlike faces. Their hair stand on end and tears of ecstasy stream from their eyes. How much Srimati's beauty increases when she sees Shyama Sundara. Oh. It is as if beauty gushes out of her body. The fish-like eyes of Shyama Sundar and the maidservant swim on the waves of that nectar ocean of beauty and sweetness oh. that is adorned with emotional ornaments like hava and bhava. Again. How much Srimati's beauty increases when she sees Shyama Sundara. It is as if beauty gushes out of her body. Uh -huh. The fish-like eyes of Shyama Sundar and the maidservant swim on the waves of that nectar ocean of beauty and sweetness that is adorned with emotional ornaments like hava and hava. Hava and hava. 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 Hava means feeling. How means behavior. How does she behave after that? How, how? Hmm. How means the body actions and our inner spirit. How the eyes action. How the face action. How the hair moves. How, how the clothes is slippery. How she is out of control with how when all the other clothes are is under not control. She is out of control to balance herself and the, the Darcy's are catching backside. Let's see not for her. One of how means externally she is unbalanced. And how? Because inside is out of control, so outside is also become out of control. You don't know in this position what to do. Yananda Maharaj, you want to share something? Long time, I know, listen, you. Your words are so beautiful and sweet. So good day, was um, So good day, was saying is that this Haba and Baba, the the kind of behaving gesture, and also. Uh, feeling. I was just a bit uh, 
I was thinking a little bit, this is, this is wonderful also. This harbor means usually we do some yagya. We do some kind of sacrifice, offering. So this kind of harbor also behaving, also harbor, like harbor means kind of sacrificing, offering our, our self. So <clears throat> that's uh, Baba also similarly, but the Baba is feeling this Baba is we want to offer our body, our, our mind, our words. That's I was just <laughs> thinking that way also. Yeah. And Shrimati's beauty increasing when she, she sees Shama Sundara. Also, Shama Sundara was tasting rasa. Also, tasting Rad Radhika's Baba. Then Shama Sundara's also beauty also become more beautiful. And Shama Sundara's fish like eyes. And also the maid servants swim on the wave of the nectar ocean, the beauty and sweetness. Recently, I was thinking, sometimes in, in this Radhara Sasdanidi and Birapak Manjari, Baba or many Rashka Vaishnava describes about uh, Chakora birds and Chataka birds. So Chakura buzz usually uh, looking after the beam of the moon. Chataka buzz looking after rainwater. So <laughs> I was thinking, actually, Radhika's face is like a moon. So from Radhika's face, Radhika's, Radhika's body, so much sunshine, and then Krishna become Chataka birds and drinking the beam of beauty of Srimati Radhika. Chataka birds like Krishna, they're drinking nectar of Radharani. Her lotus feet, so much nectar is coming out. And her also, her mouth, so much nectar is coming out. Chataka buzz like Krishna. He's drinking so much. Or even Manjari also, they can think. In Rasa Lira, it is said, Krishna's fruit is very beautiful. But Krishna's fruit is harmonized with Radhika's uh, lotus feet is uh, Uncle Bell. It is said, uh, Radhika's uncle bear is more, more beautiful than fruit. Sometimes fruit, fruit was thinking, oh, 
Radhika's uncle bears more sweet than I. Radhika's fruit, no, Krishna's fruit attract whole universe. But Radharani's uncle bear attract even Krishna's fruit, fruit, and even Krishna. Because Radhika's Mahababa. So, in spiritual, in Lhasa point of view, point of view, Radha is more higher than Krishna. Radha's love is higher than Krishna. So here, Krishna seeing Radha's beauty and completely Krishna is ecstasy and Krishna is drinking Radhika's beauty. Like Chataka or Chakora buns. Rade, rade. This beauty is unforgettable. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sings. Once Krishna's beautiful body that is like the glue of a mango tree appears before the eyes, it always rises within the heart. Yeah. Alas, when it enters the minds of the women, they cannot get it out anymore, uh. even with the greatest efforts. Again. Once Krishna's beautiful body, that is like the glue of a mango tree, appears before the eyes. It always rises within the heart. Alas, when it enters the minds of the women, they cannot get it out anymore, even with the greatest efforts. <laughs> Go on. It's, it's not a body, but the thorn of a seya berry tree. Wow. All the words are divine. <laughs> but even that Shama Sundar, who enchants all the women, cannot forget Radhika's sweetness. Wow. Sweet Radhika. And only, and only Manjari's Gurudev can resist to his appearance. Wait, 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 my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, not rush. <laughs> Go on. During Purva Raga Leela, first love, he says, When this wonderful form appeared before my eyes, its wonderful sweetness constantly arises in my heart. Wow. The kinkari sees 
लास्ट इज कैंकरी the kinkery sees how wonderful is the entrance of youthful beauty into radhika's body in this age the breasts slightly begin to grow the eyes become a little restless a mild smile appears on the mouth and the mind becomes somewhat stirred by amorous desires this newly entering youthful beauty is not a thing to forget and the acharyas have blessed the neophyte devotees by recording their experiences in their books like radha rasa sudhanidhi these topics cannot be fully understood though as long as one is in material bodily consciousness yeah. so gurudev we can see here how this beginning of kishore entering in the youth is object of meditation for the kinkaris and acharyas who are in this mood and meditation on radhika's rupa form that entering in kishore age which is described here is real delicious sweetness for the mind and high heart of devotees this meditation stimulates deep emotions of manjari bhav in the heart of sadak her smile is shy her breasts are just blooming her gestures are, are like a young adolescent and so on and so on and so on but in the same time she is very very shy she is attracted but she is taking a distance and this is the reason why baba is mentioning this is purva rag beginning of the love between this young lovers later on when they grow up little bit more and become mature 
their intimate pastimes are more mature. And in that time of Purvaraga, there is no contact with embraces. They are looking it towards each other, different emotions are appearing in their hearts. But in the same time, According to their age, they are a little bit shy and afraid that someone else will see them. And this is the reason why this Purvaraga is called Vipralamba. So this meditation on Radhika's youthful Nava Yovana, Shri Nava 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 Yovana. It's a blooming and blooming bodily appearance. Is so sweet subject for meditation of the sadhakas who also see themselves like buds who are very close to this beautiful flower which starts to open. Yeah. What wonderful gestures Srimati makes with her eyes while casting delectable glances at Shama Sundar, beautifying the whole of Vrindavan and enchanting Shama Sundar. The maidservant experiences Shama's savor in her own heart. Krishna's eyes are said to be cooling. Shitalam Tushtipate, as mentioned in Krishna Karnamrita. But Srimati Radhika's glances soothe even his afflicted heart. Enchanted Krishna casts a glance at Srimati's golden, chug like breasts. And the maidservant also admires their sweetness through the agitated state of the divine couple's minds. Shama. One is thing I have to say mm -hmm. about the best. Who edited? Lovers edited with the breast. Krishna, when see the breast of Radhika, he edited. Right? When the Manjiri see the breast, the motherly feeling comes more to her. 
Basalia of mother for the baby. Because the Manjaris are the babies of Pradina. And any child, I don't know, cannot grow without breastfeeding of mother. Any baby, we all human, we grow human body and we are living because it was the mercy of love of mother that we breastfeed. Right? So what she do, this is the spiritual breastfeeding. She teaches us only this feeding, like we try to be a, to I is tired one year before to start practice. So we become child that time. And without the mother breastfeeding, how I can grow spiritual? Is it possible? I need breastfeeding for a spiritual life. If not, then my material life, I will not come out from that. Again, I need to feed my, feed the breast of mother, Divine Mother Radhika, in my spiritual body, to develop my spiritual greed, its spiritual desire. And when I will grow, want to grow a spiritual life, we have to feed the breast of mother. It's not hesitating to the babies. They relish this. Their food is this. It's a natural for him. And mother, when see the baby, she not do. She open herself if she is sitting in flight or train. Come, come, welcome, welcome, come. I open for you. And lover may agitate because she has to try to open that. So naturally, agitations are there, then he do. But for baby and mama, he's a natural. He's a natural. Mother cannot hold the milk. She is also ex in ecstasy to give this. And baby cannot grow herself without that milk. His spiritual milk, I will not drink. My spiritual development is not going to happen. I cannot grow. Only my material existence, material breast I feed, uh, my existence happens. I need to feed the breast. And Mama, when the start breast is start growing, she fall in the first love with his lover Krishna. And first love has become very intense love in life. And she cannot come out after that. She said to her friend, I don't know, I fall in love with three persons. When I see the picture, I fall in love. Beautiful boy. Flute player. I listen the name of Krishna, I fall in love with that.
and I went to see someone and I fall in love. And then the, his friend said, Radhika, Narita said, this is all three in one. Not separate. So this eyes is so beautiful. She only see one thing, nothing else. And she is teaching us to see one thing. You, you become devotee, you understand that. You become Krishna devotee, you understand more. And when you become totally surrendered to Radha, you understand everything. Why? All become crystal clear in your life. Why? Because all details start and ends there. In Chaitanya Chaitanya Krishna say, before that, I was the goal, object, and love was the subject. In Chaitanya Chaitanya he said, I am a subject. Krishna said, I am a subject. And my object is the goal. Krishna. So you are there. When an object becomes subject, to reach for the object of Radha. Adidira for that. And only knowing Krishna is not full knowledge without mercy of Radhika. Everything not become Raso Vaisaha. What you say? When Prema comes? Okay. Prema makes Krishna dance? Huh? Prema makes Krishna dance? Prema uh, makes slowly, dance. slowly, slowly. Uh, love. <laughs> Radhe Radhe. Prema make? makes Krishna dance. Uh, makes a devotee so. dance. Uh, slowly, we have to understand also. Prema makes Krishna to dance. Wow. Yeah. And when Krishna is dancing, then? So, Prema makes devotees dance. Ah. Mm -hmm. Wow. And mm -hmm. then Prema dances itself. Wow. wow. <laughs> so that is Radha. William had one more realization yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Same. So all because of Udova. Udova was giving me the said that we were singing about like that's so nice that Prima dances itself. And it's I, I meditated on this and I thought it's so nice that even like Prema is, or rather, Rani is like the reservoir of all love, but even she is controlled by love because she has this love for Krishna, so she only moves because of love. Wow. So I felt this is so incredible that love wow. even controls the reservoir of love. 
Brother Ani is also controlled by Brother Ani. Wow. She has no chance. <laughs> so this is the written, na? Give it a sharup for Krishna Nittada. When a jiva, if you're conscious with the jiva, you know that you are under control of love. And Krishna dance like a spin for the last. <laughs> spin. A disc, spinning like a disc. Disc. <laughs> what say line? I have to look. Okay. So can you say Jiva is Sorupa Hainitya Prema Das? Krishna is also Prema Das. Yes. He also is Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna. The gopis make him to spin. Gala spins for Krishna. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on. Jananda Maharaj, we are telling only to inspire you that you say your hidden things. Not Go on. Is this? Oh, good day. The essence of Radini Shakti is Prema. <laughs> yeah. And which is comp compared to wine, wine. Radhika is a personification of that Prema Rata, love wine. Wow. The Saki is, uh, it sprouts, leaves. Wow. When the pre Radha Premalata is sprinkled with sweet nectar of Krishna's pastime, the Saki becomes hundred times happy than they sprinkle directly themselves. This is very... <laughs> wow. Yeah. And Gurudev, Krishna, Radhika, and Manjari are dancing in this one place. Wow! <laughs> so beautiful! Hidden place. See that one place. Wow. Yeah. Gurudev, can I read this two lines yeah. from Vilav Kusumanjali? Yeah. This is the ending of verse. 38 yeah is where krishna is spinning like a disc yeah <laughs> oh restless i radhe i submit my desire to your lotus feet i blissfully want to decorate your ears with astonishing disc shaped hairpins they will easily cause that black moon, Krishna, who enchants the minds of all the gopis, to constantly spin around like a disc. Wow. I am very eager to witness such a beautiful scene. Wow. Wow. 
Shri Ram. And now I am continuing verse 85 from Radha Rasa Sanidhi. But it's perfect because now Krishna is spinning like a disc. Shyama is immersed in ecstasy. As if he is bewitched by some mantra. And he slowly approaches the golden statue-like Radha saying, Oh, beautiful girl, who are you? Have you appeared on the pathways of Vrindavan to illuminate the whole of Vrindavan with your sweet form that enchants all the three worlds? Are you the family deity of luster or the goddess of youthful beauty herself? Are you a new treasure of sweetness, a flood of elegance, a river of bliss, or a stream of nectar? I think you are none of those. Because even all of these things together cannot be equal to you. I am very eager to become acquainted with you. O oh, Kalyani, auspicious, beautiful girl, please introduce yourself to me. Hearing Shama Sundara's words, Srimati shows a slight nectarian smile on her sweet bimba cherry like lips. The maidservant floats on the sweetness of that smile along with Shama Sundar. Slightly smiling, Srimati says, Why do you want my acquaintance? I'm worshipping the sun and I came here to pick flowers. Can nobody save innocent housewives from your free and wicked wander wanderings here in Vrindavan? Why are you coming to a place where women are supposed to walk freely? Quickly, go away. Our hero is enchanted by these sweet words. The light that shines from her teeth cannot be compared to pearls. The rays that shine from her body cannot be compared to gold. And her voice cannot be compared to that of a cuckoo. Full of desire, Shama tries to catch the edge of Srimati's cloth. But Srimati flees away. How sweet and unforgettable are these pastimes. Sripad prays, May these unforgettable pastimes Find a suitable sitting place in my heart. 
Uh. What is the meaning of suitable sitting place, Gurudev? We have so much. There is no place in my heart. So many desires we are keeping there. So there is all place are full. We have to make the suitable place to keep that. Suitable means it should be nothing there. If you have a chair and all are sitting and some guests come, what do you do? You have to bring more chair to give the suitable place to them, right? <laughs> so, suitable is more wiser when you have to empty what you feel it before and keep for her. That is more suitable and more beautiful offering for us. And once you were saying, talking about this pot that has holes inside. Yes. Naturally. Say that. No, you, Gurudev, you say this. No, you say it. <laughs> <laughs> say it. So, what I remember, what you said, is that our heart is like a like a clay pot and there are holes inside. So when mercy of Radharani comes, which is always there and always coming in everything and everyone, then because our pot is so broken, we cannot even catch or understand that we are actually so mercy. We get so much mercy in our life because the stream of mercy is going through the holes and nothing is staying in the pot. So you said that our sadhana and bhajan is there to fix this pot so the mercy can come and stay in our yes. heart. One thing more for the pot, to take the glass or plate. You cannot, if you want to put in plate something, you have to keep it straight, right? Mm -hmm. Then plate, you can keep the things and you can hold something, right? Or if the plate is turned back, then the pot is turned down. And if you put there, it will not stay much. A cup is turned down because one is a dirty, already we have to clean it, we have to turn the right way to receive it. And holes has to be stopped. So this is the sadhana, inner sadhana. Bhadi Bhakti has outside sadhana and Raga Bhakti has inner sadhana. Other will not see, but we have to check ourselves and improve that. And our navigator can help us to turn the pot. That's the point. What is the use of navigator if we know say, how to turn the pond, pond, how to fill the holes? This is important. The navigators are so important. And if you make the goal to navigator, then who will show you to hmm. do that? By foolishness, we take the goal to navigate then I have no way to improve myself. 
But the navigator yeah. is so good that when we are driving and the navigator says, turn right from here, and we miss it because we just didn't listen, then the navigator will find a new way and say, okay, okay, so now you have to make a turn <laughs> left. <laughs> It's always yeah. there, still will navigate. Always helping you. Yeah. For the goal. In America, there are, you go to the college, there are two subjects. One is a major, one is a minor. When we start to the life, the minor subject become major, a major subject become minor. They cannot come out from the college. They have to go more longer. Major has to be major, then we can pass away. Right? <laughs> Radhe Radhe. It's a My 10th, 11th in Japan. Radhe. Out of tea time. Now we have yeah. to wake up. We not want to there, there is a trick with my pot. <laughs> so my pot has many holes, right? And I, I know it has many holes. But if I stand under the waterfall, <laughs> water is coming powerful. I just stand under the waterfall because I know my holes will always be there. Oh, Dandama, thank you for the tip. <laughs> Here is the waterfall. Just have to stand next to good person. Oh, the <laughs> this the, is the hope <laughs> for hopeless. This is our hope, my hope. Yes. And another, another thing with the pot. Now, if I have, if Mercy is showering on us, right? Mm -hmm. So if I keep a small pot. You know, I say, oh, I'm happy with a little bit. That's okay for me. But Kesha Baba said, like, why don't you take the big pot outside raining, no? Bucket. We are happy with small. This is Rati. It depends on my greed, you know? I'm happy with a small pot, also fine. But if I if greed is there, by Guru there's mercy, then we can also have a bigger pot to take. No good. It depends on the greed. Yeah. Never satiated. We can even become the pot. Thank you. I see. I can grow my spiritual life. Good. I'm every day learning. Today, Mahabhava teach me very nice thing. I have no time now to share that. But I share morning classes. Morning classes. You can listen. How beautiful things he gave me. Shortly I say, <laughs> Rati give you Rupa. If there is no lusty desire, like a one material person who only want to be in the madness for the sense enjoyment, that uh, Rati. Rati is the wife of Kamdev. If there are many people are sitting, the when Rati comes, then he knows, see that somebody is there. For him, it's empty, only she, he and she, he and she. And the karma is so high that he cannot stop himself. That Rati, when it will come in my life, mm -hmm. And that Rati will give me my Sarupa. Sarup, 
rati is spiritual rati. One is a cupid in material world and one cupid in a spiritual world and that is a Krishna. Krishna rati. Guru Kripa this comes to us. Govardhan, what is the meaning of Govardhan? Go means senses, Bardhan means to develop the ten sense desire. That is the meaning of Govardhan. Means what material sense desire is already up. No spiritual sense desire. We come to the Brajabhumi to go at and to increase my eyes spiritual sense desire. Sri Guru Charane Rati says Uttamagati. Uttamagati means the highest thing is the to learn the Rati from the Guru Dev. Divine Rati. And here, Rati Manjari is the student and the Guru is a Rupa. Means Rati when come, then Sarup is come. My and your relation. And this comes when there is no hole, other holes in my pot. Any other desires are there is a hole in our life. Gopinath, what to say? See one? We'll have to pick up. Okay. Mm -hmm.